welcome to this week's game, Ian's Eyes. Which, as far as I can tell, we play as this do as the seeing eye dog for this blind boy at his new school. First day of school. And let's see what is actually going on here. That music is still too loud, but oh well, we're stuck with it. Game, don't be freaking in the centenary of Blue Norholm Primary School. Today, a new school year begins. This day is not easy for every time, especially if you are a new boy at school, like little Ian. New people to meet, new places to explore. It would be simple if not for one small detail. Ian is blind. Luckily, he's not alone. His faithful friend North is always with him to be his eyes, and today, they will need each other more than ever. Heavily accented narrator. Stay loyal, stay alive. Okay, let's figure out how to play and what this is. How do I move? Are, are you serious? I have to use the arrow keys and not WASD. You must be in. Welcome to Blue No Home Primary School. I'm Mr. Bates, principal of the school. It is an honor to welcome our first blind student. Our facilities are completely adapted to your comfort. Hello, Mr. Bates. Nice to meet you. What is your little friend's name? He's North. Come on. Let me guide you around the school, Ian. That's a bit... <laughs> you can't just call out a kid's disability like that. I mean, I understand you're trying to be nice, but you're being... Just, just don't make him different because of it. Okay, I'm First, here. I want to show you the school map. If you get disoriented, there are braille maps everywhere. Now... Touch this map. Okay, so I use WASD for commands. Right? Yes, we are. This is heavy. This school is huge. That's why there are maps all around the school. Cool. This is a rather small school, actually. Let's see, we've only got 16 classrooms. That's not much at all. Admins there at the hall, library's right next to it. That's where my library was in school. The cafeteria is its own little building. I bet that's a covered walkway there. Ah, we got stairs. Oh, it's a rather tiny courtyard. Okay. As you already know, you can unleash your dog inside. North is very polite, but he gets a bit nervous when he's lost. North, search for another map, but don't go too far or disturb people. A. Okay, find a new map. Be careful, North. Try not to disturb anybody, please. I didn't disturb anyone. What's this dog doing in here? Well, that's not fair. Oh, there's a stealth option down there. Still, that the. Run to Ian before he's scared to death. Wow. It took you so long. Being alone for too long scares me. Come, Ian. I will guide you to your classroom. Okay. Let's go, North. Not the best tutorial design, but. leads to the car yet. The next one is my office. Come. Let's move on. 
Okay. A bit funky, but let's see how the gameplay turns out. Tutorial design's a bit bare bones and not well integrated narratively, but these big doors are the library. Okay. You can come here to read and study whenever you want. Except during class time, which is most of the school day. It's only a dream. It's an odd poster to have here. Interesting. It's another interesting poster. This is your classroom, 111. Open the door. Don't be afraid. You can explore the room a bit if you want. Open door. Afterwards, meet your classmates at the gym. It's at the end of the hallway. We are celebrating the school centenary. Hurry up! I'll join you in a minute. What's a centenary? That mean it's been around for a hundred years? Oh look, landforms. Hmm. Checking the posters because I think they may have some. They may be attempting to do something. The solar system, not to scale. Is that a bathroom? Does this class have a bathroom? That's awkward. Okay. This class does indeed have a bathroom. A co-ed bathroom at that. Interesting. The door is locked. Okay, so that's the hall. Clearly it runs straight through the bathroom. Or the hall has to come to a dead end. It does come to a dead end. The gym is supposed to be at the end of the hall. That Mr. Bates has dropped something. North, search for it and bark when you find it. But don't bark too loud. Just enough so I can hear you. Huh. Teaching me how to bark. Space bar. What's out, Ma? Fuck you. People can go to the place where the bark came from, pick up the object. A tape. Luckily, I never forget my cassette player. Wow. Well, actually, for that would be important. First, 1987. Little Leon will arrive at the school in seven days, but the centenary isn't fully prepared yet. I hope the adjustments at the school are good enough so Ian and his little friend can move around in no time. Let's go to the gym. We're late. Mr. Bates told us to be there as soon as possible. That's an awful lot of attention for just one student. Be careful, North. Try not to disturb anybody, please. There's... Okay, they're all way over there. Mr. Bates told us to be there as soon as possible. Okay, that's... If you go far away, bark loudly so I can find where you are. Come on, North, let me hear you! Reach the ultimate bark. North, be careful! Barking loudly like that startles me. Let's go in, or else we'll miss the presentation. So we can't go to the ultimate... Wow. Let's go, North. Let's search for a place to stand. <clears throat> Fifty years ago, students like you decided to fill this time capsule with several objects. Objects considered important and worthy of being rediscovered in the future. Their future is now our present. Plus, there are slides that show how the school was like that time. 
It was a bit less messy, of course. When we discovered the slides, there was a note saying that the greatness of a school comes from its students and teachers. This is dedicated to them. Get out of the school. Okay, um, what was stealth mode? I forgot stealth mode. Okay, um, D is stealth mode, but only when we're separated. Reunite. Okay, looks like I should be able to do this. Okay, I was supposed to come up here for some reason. Okay, that was fast. Okay. And that's how we do that. Okay, that worked bad. Sure. Not going that way. Search for an exit. And let's go to the hall again. I'm sure we will find an exit there. Okay. Okay, screw you. No, 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 no. Okay, the exit should be right out here. Are we here yet? Thank you, Ned. Oh no, it's locked. Let's wait. I'm sure someone is coming to rescue us. You were right, North. It seems that nobody is coming to save us. Let's find an exit. Okay. So... Puzzle navigation. Yeah. We must find another exit. Kind of intrigued as to what happened. <laughs> I get it, we're blind, so we from Mr. Bates's office. Yeah, I get it, we have super hearing because we're blind. Like Daredevil. No surprises, please. The lighting keeps changing. That's kind of disorienting. No! What's happening, North? Help me! Relax, boy. I'm Principal Bates. Thank God you're safe. Something terrible has happened. The students and teachers are acting really strange. We must get out as fast as we can. Quick, come into my office. But the front door is locked. Now we are in trouble. Well, emergency doors are in the gym and the cafeteria. The gym is impossible, so we have to go upstairs. The safest way to go upstairs is through the library. That's why I need you. I've left the library key at bathroom 101. I've tried to pick it up before, but I'm not up for these things anymore. I'm sure you and your dog won't have any problems bringing it back. Leave my office, go right, and you will find hallway A. 
Bathroom is located between classrooms 101 and 102. Don't waste your time. Let's go, North. I trust you. What a convenient setup. I know, I know, I understand why. So, we have to go through one of those two classrooms to get to it. Why do we have to go upstairs to get to the kitchen and cafeteria? It's okay, we will figure it out. Leave my office and go to bathroom 101. It's on the right, near classroom 101. Ah, that's a bit creepy. Fuck. I see my little death counter up there. And yeah, I can see you staring through the window. Stop being creepy. What the fuck? You didn't do that last time? You fucking bitch. I heard a scream, but no, not from what? Bathroom 101 is between classrooms 101 and 102. No! No, fuck you! I don't like that light over there. That was close. Okay, 102 is blocked. Yep, she's a zombie. Such a death count on me. Okay, if I don't run, they don't hear me. So running, bad idea. Uh, uh I'm in the room. I'm in the room, bitch. Okay, I can do this. Just finicky stealth. Not nearly as bad as some of the other games I play. Huh. Classroom got quite destroyed, but I see no one in here. Why is the library key in the bathroom? Yeah, um, be glad you can't see, buddy. We did it! This must be the library key. Mr. Shh. Bates will be very happy. Let's Shh. go back to his office as soon as possible. Shh. Something's happened in the hallway. I don't like it, North. I don't want to keep playing. I really don't. Must give the key to Mr. Bates. Oh, the why is that door open now? Shit. Lost count of her pattern. Shit. I can do this. 
principal's office. You're here, right? You're here, damn it. <sighs> I can do this. No, not separate. Pfft, wrong button. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. We're just going to sprint like a madman. There's no sprint option here. We're in. You okay, Mr. Bates? When Mr. Bates comes back, we'll be able to go home. <sighs> Another cassette tape. Which story will it tell? Not a good one. April the 5th, 1980. It's been a month since our baby left. It is said that you only die when you are forgotten. In every corner of the school, there is a piece of him. The maps, the inscriptions, everything was made for him. As long as I'm alive, he will be alive too. It seems that Mr. Bates is not coming. There must be another exit north. We have to find it. Well, I... Library key. Now let's go there. Can we not? That teacher's right outside that door. Shit. Okay, I will get to the library and see how that... that I'm sure that Mr. Bates is locked inside that room. I'm sure he isn't. I hear footsteps approaching. Fuck. It's raining, yay. Ooh, okay, I did get to see them pass fucking it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can reach the library this way too. I wasn't supposed to go back, it seems. That's not an option. Why did... <laughs> not clear on what will trigger them and what won't. Damn it. That didn't work. Oh, he's just right there. He'll come past. Maybe not try and kill us? So essentially the whole school is active at the entire time. And that they are moving even while you're not in that room. And he came in the room with me. Well, now we get... We've got a good idea on what type of gameplay we expect and what the rest of the game's gonna be. So we are going to stop here. Did that... I'm gonna have to check, but did that last cassette tape say 1890? Which would have been nearly 50 years ago. when the 
when the um what the, the the time capsule was made. I think they're trying to do a deeper thing here. I'm the narrative is falling down for me though. The gameplay is not. No, I wouldn't say it's exactly fun, but it's a decent idea. It needs tighter controls though. But it is what it is. It's an interesting game. It's an interesting game, not very well implemented. But next week we will have another game. Hope to see you there.